Hello, welcome to the Source Juicer video blog. This is the first of a series of two videos demonstrating the operation of Source Juicer. In the first video, we will look at the sub submission of a spec file and how that spec file is uh, validated and then the package is uh, built and uh, published into the pending repo. In the second video, we will look at how that package is promoted from the, from the pending repo into the contrib repo and the accompanying voting process. So we start by going to the submit tab on Source Juicer's homepage and what we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to submit a spec file. First of all we're going to look at a spec file. So here's a spec file and a spec file is a build recipe which has references to the name of the project, uh, the version of the project, uh, also it, it points to the upstream community and source tarball and whatever else is required to build the package. So in order to reflect uh, the situation of an inexperienced user, I'm, I've included some text here which will break the build. I've also cop uh, commented out the copyright file, the reference to the copyright file, so uh, we'll see how that affects the build uh, in a few moments. So back to the source juicer tool and now the first thing I'm going to do is just put in an identifier to uniquely uh, um, indicate uh, which, uh, which package I'm building. Now I'm going to select the spec file that we just looked at a few moments ago and I'm going to submit that spec file right now. So now we're being told at this point the, the name of the spec file and also um, that the, the submission will not be built unless we get name and li valid license in the file. We can see at this point, in the, the, uh, the, the, the syntax was checked and found that there was a syntax error. So we expected that because we already had put the error in. Uh, now we will go and remove that error text and see what happens. So go back in, comment out this text, save it. And now we resubmit the spec file having fixed the uh, syntax error. Corrected, select it again, and now we resubmit. You may have noticed that in the original menu there was a help button pointing to the spec file and spec file help where it's it described how the, the convention on the on the spec file name was to use the project name dot spec so that's what, that's how we named our spec file now having fixed the syntax error now we see that the system has again checked for syntax and found this time that the uh, there was a missing uh, copyright file so we go back to our spec file and remove that error, save our spec file, and then resubmit again. So now what we see here is that uh, Source Juicer is, is looking for the, uh, a copyright file which we need to uh, submit along with the spec file. 
So now we will resubmit. This time we will uh, submit a, a copyright file. While we're out of here, we can see that there are a number of other file types that we can submit, including patch, which is usually a .diff file. Um, we can uh, also uh, submit an include file or mount pages or whatever. But again, in this case, we're just going to, to stick with a copyright file, browse and find that copyright file, select it, And now we submit this time with the correct uh, spec file and copyright file. Now that, that shows our syntax check is, is uh, complete. The system has found the copyright file, it has identified it as GPL version 2, and also it uh, knows where the upstream uh, community site is. So at this point, we have to um, switch personalities, or I have to switch personalities from a uh, submitter to a validator. So at this point, um, I go, I enter source juicer, I go into the review list, and I find a submission which I need to uh, validate. So I enter the review thread. And at this point, I validate this. Since I already have checked the copyright file by clicking on it, I can see that this uh, license is, is, is correct, that it lists the, um, the correct copyright holder. And I also am happy with it, uh, GPL version 2. So at this point, I validate the this submission and that will eff effectively kick off a build of that submission. All right, now we're going to switch to the build tab but we can see that um, if we refresh the screen we should see the uh, DD client spec job being queued first of all. and then build. Now it's building and after another minute or two we'll see that that spec file actually is built and try once more. Okay, so this is now we come down to the bottom of the list here and we find that the build has passed and we have um, F fMRI which points to an installable image of the package. But that's a full sweep of submitting a spec file, correcting errors in the spec file, submitting a copyright, correct copyright file requested by the system, and then uh, the intervention of a core contributor to validate uh, the submission, who then triggers the build by validating the uh, validating the spec and uh, copyright file and finally we see the package is built and published into an IPS repository. So thank you.